How we doing, Roxy? How we doing, Roxy? All right, all right, all right. Good evening, Europe, and good morning, Australia. Welcome to another edition of ESCZ. This time from the legendary Roxy Club in Prague, where the Czech national selection final of the Eurovision Song Contest will take place live tonight. So, ahoy to all of you in the venue. Are you guys with us? You know, my name is Adam Asik, and I hosted ESCZ uh, for the first time last year, and I have the impression that it went kind of well. And in the end, I got paid, you know, which, which I was quite happy about. But more importantly, they called me again this year, which made me even happier. And, you know, viewers from the Czech Republic, you know, who watch us on the channel, Chat Art, and the streaming platform, Evisilani, may now wonder why I speak English and welcome all of Europe with Australia. It's because just like last year, we're also being followed by viewers on the official Eurovision Song Contest YouTube channel, which has over five and a half million subscribers. And that I, yeah, it's a lot, guys. That's a lot. So I hope that is a reason to go a little bit further in a language they understand. And at the same time, it's a pretty big challenge for me. So let's do it. Do you finally want to know who made it to our top seven? All right, we got Ico. We got Ellie. We got Gianna Lay. We, of course, have Lenny. We have Mitty. Tom Sean. And, of course, Thomas Robin. They will all be performing live on this stage. And with your votes on the official app, you can decide who will represent us at the Eurovision Song Contest 2024 in Malmo, Sweden. And now, if you're now thinking about what a good Eurovision song should sound like, those who have managed to make it to the final at the ESC in recent years can help you out a bit. In just a moment, it will be like Malawi with their song Friend of a Friend, which came in a great 11th place in Tel Aviv. And to round off the night, we are Dami, whose lights off almost brought, brought down Italy. You know, that, that, was a, that was a hell of a time. So, dear Eurovision family, there's no reason to delay this any longer. Let the ESCZ 2024 begin with Lake Malawi!
There's not much between us now, do you know what I mean? She's still be a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend She's never home cause she plays in the bed I don't know if you'd understand I'm only a friend of a friend of a friend I had a dream to walk to the door I can not call her name anymore Please believe me, I'm your man Only a friend of a friend of a friend Well, that was a smash hit, Friend of a Friend by Lake Malawi. And now for the first, the first, for the first time, we can introduce the top seven we've all been eagerly waiting for. Thanks again to all of you who came to see us here at the Roxy Club in Prague. And thanks to all the viewers from all over the world who are watching us on TV and online. We're very happy that you support us and that you enjoy ESCZ. And so that you get to know this year's Eurovision National Selection participants from the Czech Republic, as well as possible, we will introduce them to you in a short interview before each performance. And because each of them will need not only your support, but also some good advice, our dear friend, Caesar Sampson will be conducting the interviews. Yes, he's the Caesar who won a fantastic third place for Austria in the Eurovision Grand Final. Thanks, Adam. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to be here in my function as musical advisor, helping the Czech team not only select or find the best contestant for Eurovision 2024, but also to kind of help craft like this successful story to bring this uh, potential up on the stage on the eurovision stage and yeah get the best possible result this year our top seven is really something dear eurovision fans the first contestant is currently based in brighton she was born in moscow but grew up in the czech republic her music blends influences from different cultures and explores themes such as loneliness and love. In our first interview, singer Aiko introduces us to her song, Pedestal. Aiko. Um, the way I see it, uh, Eurovision is all about connecting mm -hmm. with as many people as possible, but via your song. Yes. When I heard pedestal, I think it's very, like, a message. It's very message-driven. Mm -hmm. To me, you can correct me if I'm wrong. No, it is, yeah. Uh, it's about self-empowering, self, like, very much seeing so, your yeah. worth. Is that mm -hmm. true? Yeah, very much so. I felt very angry at the time because, you know, when you, like, have a clicking realization that, hey, I've not been valuing myself mm -hmm. enough, and that, that's where the song actually came from. That's really nice because <laughs> I love when... I love when you can see your own story in the song, and I think that yeah. I, even I do that, you know? That's great. I'm really glad that it. I want to put myself on the yeah. pedestal as you well. You should, you know? as you should. <laughs> um, so, so I really think you did a great job uh, choosing this, uh, this song for, for Eurovision. I Thank think it's very, very compatible. Uh, the other thing is you as a, an artist. Is, mm. I think it's very interesting to, to see. I think you have a clear Thank vision. You. Yes. Could you Could you give me like three mm. words that kind of communicate to the audience who you are as an artist. Okay, kind of I point. want them to feel safe, uh, confident, and free. Good, safe, confident, and free. Sounds like a commercial for something. 
like an ad for yeah. deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> Safe, confident, and, and free. free. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aiko. Thank you. Looking forward to a performance. Thank you very much. I'm excited to play. Dear Eurovision fans, Aiko Pedestal. Sorry means nothing when everything else stays the same, stays the same. You say sorry, and I get wrong, and everything else stays the same. I'm tired of explaining you. It's so full of it, full of it. I'll give all the love to me, and then I'll truly be free. I'll truly be free and die. And I love me more, love me more, love me, love me more than you. Fuck myself, all the things I need you love me, you love me. And I roll your eye, just please don't ask for any actions or any proof of oh, the irony. Where did my crime go? I feel no shame, but you should. And I That was Aiko. I don't think. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Aiko one more time. All right. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that we're in for one of the best Czech Eurovision national selections we've seen so far. The second contestant is a singer who calls herself Ellie with her track, The Angels Share. I'm already curious to see what Caesar finds out about her song. Ellie, when I first heard your song, uh, it immediately captured my imagination. It's, uh, yeah, it's very atmospheric, but also what captures my imagination is the title. The yeah. angels share. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I know that kind of term. I'm a whiskey guy. So oh, yeah. <laughs> is, is that what you're actually saying with this song? Is it about whiskey? No, actually, I was really surprised that there is other meaning of angels share because I don't drink alcohol, so I didn't know. And then, oh, you know, what, what does it mean? And I was like, no. And I was like, oh my God, is it bad or good? But then I said, oh, it's, it's maybe it's fine, it's good. So but what is it about? It's about healing after losing someone close to you. And for me, it has like super personal meaning and that's why I love the song so much. But I think that the greatest thing about this is everybody can fit their own story into this song and so feel... For example, I can think of whiskey and just... Yeah, you can think of oh, whiskey. Oh, she totally understands me. <laughs> wow, she <Yeah>. gets it. <laughs> That's good. And uh, what would you say is, is what you're communicating to the Eurovision um, audience with your song? The song is, for me, is like a message. It's a message to 
everyone who is healing with something and this is something that could help them with the process of healing. I hope that it would make them feel better or good. Or... Yeah, it makes me feel better already. <laughs> thank you so much. I wish much. you a lot of luck and thank I you. think you're going to do very good. Oh, thank you so much. And now the spectacular song of the Angels Share. Ellie! Wow. Wow. I'm a bit emotional now. And after Ellie's emotional, the angels share, we come to the third contestant. This is Gianna Lay, who is set to have come from the stars. Her competition song is called Starlet. And I'm curious what our star Caesar asked Gianna. Well, let's see if it is Gianna Lay who you'll send to the Eurovision Song Contest. Gianna Lay, I have to tell you, uh, when I heard your song, Starlet, mm. for the first time, it kind of hit us out of nowhere. You wrote Starlet yourself? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you studied production and, and sound engineering yes. in London. You seem to be prepared. You seem to have done your homework. Thank so you. Tell me, like, if you should be selected for Eurovision, what is, the thing, what is the one thing that you think you really have to brush up on, like, to uh -huh. really improve? I think for me, it's definitely like overthinking. I think a lot of people might think maybe like artists are super like 
very confident and like could do anything at any given moment. But I also feel like artists, each artist is different, you know, and I like shine in certain situations, but in others, I definitely need the brushing up on. But I think I just need to get out of my head. Like, I feel like people are mostly, even like everyone in my life has told me that. So I feel like even just believing that I can do it. So is, I know. is Starlet that kind of song that you wrote to tell yourself that yeah. you can do it? Yeah, 100%. 100%. That's I wrote awesome. it in like the worst part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I need something to pet me up, you know? And even if there was like no... Um, actual evidence of like my life getting any better. I was just like, I know this isn't it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I needed something for myself. So I'm really like, it means so much to me so that I can actually use a song today and for Eurovision in general, because Fantastic. it just means everything to me. Thank you so much, Jonna Lay. Thank you, Caesar. Good luck. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's make some noise for our third contestant. Gianna Lay and the song Starlet. So that was Gianna Lay and Starlet. And who's next? It is the one and only Lenny who will perform Good Enough. And considering that Lenny is a multiple Czech Music Awards winner and their song Hello became a hit across Europe, I think it should really be good enough. Lenny, first off, let me, from the bottom of my heart, commend you for making this step to Eurovision as an already established artist in Czechia and beyond. That happens way too, too seldomly. Um, my first question is, what is your reason for going, for wanting to go to Eurovision? My main reason is the experience. Because, you know, I kept thinking this year, life is way too short not to have 
not to just live through everything, right. everything possible. So um, this, is, this is my main reason. That's a good reason. If you go to Eurovision, you will um, have millions of people who might not have heard of you before. And to me, uh, your song, Good Enough, uh, seems to be a very personal song. Is that correct? It is personal because I um, have moments where I feel I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not possibly good enough to, um, to play on this radio or I'm not, I, I'm not good enough to stand on this stage. Like imposter syndrome. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So my mind is, is trying to, um, you know, sabotage, <laughs> sabotage my thoughts. But, Been there. But, but on, the other, on the other hand, I'm... I'm like, there's a part of me that's like, yes, you are good enough. And I want that to, um, to touch people's emotions and for them to find their story in this song. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so will it really be good enough? Dear viewers, Eurovision fans, music lovers, welcome Lenny on stage with Good Enough. Sometimes I'm losing my mind So I give up trying Feels like I'm wasting my time Walking the line I weep what I saw in my heart on my sleeve All of the time it runs in my blood I just wanna believe I've been my life They told me I'll never be good enough I found myself questioning All I love, all I love And all is lost, hope is gone Times are tough, just believe Walking this world on my own Still a kid full of dreams far from home You're watching me strip to the bone Show you I'm good enough, I'm good enough. Anything can happen more than you imagine. I'm good enough, yes, I'm good enough. They told me I'll never be good enough. I found myself questioning all I love, all I love. Last hope is gone, times are tough, just believe Walking this world on my own So careful of dreams far from home You're watching me strip to the bone I give all of me to you, I give all of me to you All I've ever been through, I was trying to show you good enough Enough. Anything can happen More than you imagine I'm good enough Yes, I'm good enough Cause I'm good enough Yes, I'm good enough All I've ever been through All I've ever been through I'm good enough I'm good Are we having a good time, Roxy? I said, are we having a good time? All right. That was really something. And if Lenny is your favorite, you can vote on the official Eurovision Song Contest app and decide who will win 
the national selection of the ESCZ and show what they can do at the big show in Sweden. As the fifth contestant from her top seven, Midi is coming on stage. Yes, they have already performed in South Korea and even Glastonbury. Dear viewers, with the song Red Flag Parade comes the band Midi. You call yourself Midi. Yes. Uh, first off, short question, what does Midi stand for? <laughs> That's a good question. And we Do you know don't the have an answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. It's also an answer. Uh, I researched you a little bit. I know that you tour a lot. You you have been obviously together for a while. Yes. And uh, also, years. oh my God, oof, you're really? veterans, <laughs> veterans of the game, and and you actually are pretty international, as I heard. Yes, we are. Yes, yes we you are. are. Of course, I mean, COVID maybe, came and it changed uh, yeah. our course a bit, but. Yes, we're getting back on track. My question is, describe your musical style in, in simple words for, for Simple people. words. Okay, we use electropop because that's for people the easiest way to imagine what we really play. Mm -hmm. We use our own word, which is glamtronic. Glam that's our favorite because we really care about the visuals as well, not yeah. only the, the music. Sounds like an adjective. How did you like the show? It was that glam tronic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's and what exactly else? how you use that word. Yeah. And then we also say like electro dance rock because electro. our vibes live are mm. kind of rockish. Yeah. So, yeah, Good. You'll see. You wouldn't believe it, but I actually have an, an, an idea of what you sound like now. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So now that the power dynamics are established, I think you're ready to go on stage. We are. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And now, Midi and their Red Flag Parade.
my thing, we're having a bit of a party here. I hope you're having a good time as well. For those who are watching us, what about here in Roxy? Are we having a good party? <laughs> Haven't I told you this year was gonna be worth it? But we're slowly approaching the end. We still have two more contestants to watch. The next one is the 19-year-old Tom Sean, who is a singer, songwriter, actor, and a producer. This energetic guy has prepared a good dose of dopamine for us. In this interview with Caesar, Tom will hopefully tell us a bit more about not only himself, but also about the song Dopamine Overdose. Tom Sean. <laughs> okay. Your song is called uh, Dopamine Overdose. Yeah. Uh, for those who haven't heard it, can you describe it in three words? In three words, okay, right. Chaos. Chaos, okay. Happiness. Good. And uncontrollable. I would say, yeah, like it. Uncontrollable pure happiness or something like that. Uncontrollable yeah. pure happiness. Pure happiness. Okay. And the chaos is somewhere like there. As yeah, well. that's how I had. Like a, if I had four anyway. words, I would put the chaos <laughs> in it as well. All right. You know what I like about this song because I heard it, uh, of course, before everybody else. Uh, I like that you sing very low. You know. Yeah. Most of the people at Eurovision and trying to go to Eurovision, they always try to sing the highest note. But you keep it, keep it low and it still has energy. Thank you. How else are you going to bring energy to the Eurovision stage? What is your stage concept? Yeah, I'm trying to make a party on the stage. Yeah, so we have... Will you have dancers? Yeah, we have three dancers, two backing vocalists. And yeah, we're just making a party. The choreo is... Do you dance? I do dance. I do dance a bit. Yeah, and I move and stuff. Like, yeah, like but... break dance? Break dance. It's like a techno dance. What is a techno dance? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> it's like. Oh, that is good. Yeah, like with your head bumping, that's, you know. It's, that fits to the song yeah, actually. It's based on a choreo. Like it's 5 a.m. You're in a techno club and you're so tired, but this song brings you on one more time and you. I see the. I see the picture. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's the vibe. I'm looking forward to it now. Thank you. Good <laughs> looking luck. forward as well. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Tom Sean, dopamine overdose. I can't get no sleep. I can't get no sleep. You told me you're tonight. In a slow motion overdrive Holding back a heart attack Euphoric side effect I'm tired of being faded Tired of being sober I can't get no sleep So high in dopamine The chemistry OG and dopamine Sweat on your body like teriyaki I can't get no sleep I can't get no sleep So I don't believe The chemistry Oh, do you don't believe In your body Sweet like teriyaki I can't get no sleep Heartbeats race to the rhythm of the mind Dancing more than five feet above the ground after glow painted in the light Lost and found in the sound Oh, I'm tired of being faded Tired of being so bad I can't get no sleep So high in dopamine The chemistry What do you go to me? Sweat in your body Sweet like daily yaki I can't get no sleep Need a 
is the love. All you need is the love. Uh. I can't get no sleep, so high you don't mean feel the chemistry. Sending dopamine to all of you. That was Tom Sean. I hope you haven't overdosed yet. And if so, only with the dopamine from good music. We've got one more contestant coming up, and that's Thomas Robin with Out of My Mind. I won't be surprised if you'll be out of your mind from our top seven this year. Because I don't know who, I don't know who I would vote for. Our last contestant, Thomas Robin, has gained a lot of experience during his musical career from intimate performances in smaller clubs to performing at the biggest festivals in the Czech and Slovak republics. With this project, We on the Moon, he has voted Newcomer of the Year by listeners and has been nominated for several other music awards. You have anything else for us, Caesar? Thomas Robin. Hey, man. First of all, congrats to your song, Thank Out you. of My Mind. Thank you very much uh, for giving me a chance. Uh, tell me more about the song. Tell me, uh, how did it come together and, and what it's about? With my producer from Slovakia, Tom and Martin, we've been like talking to that Thomas, let's do something a little bit like EDM. Let's try it. And I just had it in my something like, maybe I'm just out of my... That was really like the hook. So we had the hook. That was the first idea. That was the first line act we had. And we just, fine, it's done. It's like the chorus is... The, Those are my favorite the... sessions when it's already done in the beginning. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you write in like hours and hours. And it was really like, like so, so fast. So we had a hook. And afterwards, just the verses should be like very like calm, very like low. Yeah. To, to build it up, build it up, build it up. And yeah. it does. And, and it's it does. about that sometimes you think that the other person is, see you in a different way. You don't know. That maybe, maybe the person sees it totally like in over, a different way. Overthinking, overthinking what the other all the time. All right. So it's maybe I'm just out of my mind. So right. this is like the, the main message. And uh, it's, it's, it's a bit personal. Like it's strong personal. to me. Yeah, it's very like storytelling vibe. Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely. For the people who haven't heard the song yet, imagine the song is playing. And it just move as if you were dancing right now to the song. I can hear like the chorus. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, like the tempo. I can hear it too, actually. The tempo is on point. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats and Thank good luck. Thank you very much for giving me You're a chance. Slay. Thank you. Maybe I'm just out of my mind, but this is really the last contestant of the ESCZ 2024. Thomas Robin, out of my mind. I still remember the rainy day I was sitting on the sidewalk Waiting for the tree that would come I left behind the wood you say Try to harmonize my life Got only bad things on my soul I'm collecting mounds I'm tearing all our bridges down Cause my life's been mostly lost No I can even make
Hi, Roxy. Thank you so, so much. Hi, hi, everyone. Hi. All right, let's make some noise for our top seven one more time. Will Iko, Ellie, Gianna Lay, Lenny, Mitty, Tom Sean, or Thomas Robin win your vote? You can vote for your favorite on the official Eurovision Song Contest app tomorrow and the official website. The voting will last for seven days, and after the votes are counted, you will find out which of the ESCZ 2024 finalists will represent the Czech Republic at the Eurovision Song Contest in Malmo, Sweden. It was an honor to host you today. <laughs> and I hope to see you next year. Uh, you know, I'm going to ask the producers if I should make a note in my diary, you know, after tonight's performance. Or rather, make a plan for a permanent vacation. But you should definitely feel free to vote for your favorite song that you think should represent the ESC, that you think you should represent the Czech Republic at the ESC 2024. But before we turn the lights off here in Prague's rock scene and say goodbye completely, let me welcome the Czech Eurovision finalists and their song Lights Off, We Are Dami. So good luck to the contestants and to you in your voting. And once again, let me remind you that you can vote through the official ESC app on the ESCZ, this is gonna be long, ESCZ2024.choicely.com. And also on the official Czech TV website. Thank you guys, you were amazing. You were amazing. This was a good party and good night. My soul forgot my way There's no mistakes that I've not made Change is hurt and I'm alone But people say, my, how you've grown Try changing jobs, try changing lovers Changing my furniture, change my bed covers Let's go! Change my heart, but there's not a chance So I turn the lights off Where are you now? Where are you now?